I was just checking, I said earlier in an earlier video, this one was suspect, this needle palm, and uh, pulled on one of the fronds here and had a spear pull, or at least on the frond pulled. Anytime you see these newer fronds that, that start taking damage like this, you can uh, almost bet that there's some sort of problem going on down in there that you need to watch on. So uh, we're gonna mix up some copper fungicide here and spray spray this again, spray some of our other palms. Uh, you can see it's got a spear down in here that's still now okay, but uh, you know, these things, they uh, spear pull some, they usually come back, but you gotta be careful with these needle palms. So, so uh, uh, keep an eye out and, uh, you know, spray that copper fungicide about once a month, especially when it's temperatures around 60 or more. So what we're going to do after mixing up our copper fungicide is we're going to spray it with this uh, uh, sprayer here. This is a battery powered uh, two gallon sprayer, but uh, you can use any type of sprayer you want. So on this particular palm, we're going to go over here and uh, we're going to spray right down in the spear area. Spray these affected fronds a little bit, spray every trunk. For any windmill palms that we want to spray, we're going to spray down in here. Spray down the spear area real good. And that's the way we're gonna treat our palms. And we're gonna do that about at least once a month. Uh, we have one that's uh, spear pulled. You can do it every uh, week or two until uh, spring fully kicks into gear and, and you see the spear growing. So we'll see everybody later. All right, so we got the needle palm sprayed that had some uh, problems, had a spear pull there. So we sprayed it with copper fungicide. And I'm gonna repost uh, some of my content from uh, uh, one of my last videos on uh, uh, when to use copper fungicide and when to use hydrogen peroxide. And there's a little bit of difference. Uh, you could have used uh, hydrogen peroxide on this uh, needle palm since you know it's got a problem here. That's one of the cases when it's a good idea to use it. Uh, but I've been using this copper fungicide on this one for a couple times. I knew it was gonna potentially had a problem. But uh, anyway, so uh, here's the video from before and uh, this will give you some ideas on when to use copper fungicide or hydrogen peroxide. All right, today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about how to treat your palms in the spring if you've had spear pool or if you wanna preventively uh, treat your palms for uh, fungus. Uh, what happens with your palms is in uh, winter time, if you have, uh, we'll go over here to one. If you have a lot of ice or freezing precipitation uh, in the spear area here, uh, water will collect and freeze. And when that freezing occurs, it can damage the, uh, the growing point down in your palm, which will uh, make a place that fungus can start to try to grow. And so, uh, uh, if you're growing in a cold area, like a zone uh, five, six, seven, uh, and uh, you have this freezing precipitation, uh, what'll happen is once that damaged tissue is there, your palm cannot fight off the fungus and uh, the fungus will start growing. And it, it grows especially uh, in temperatures of over 50, but uh, uh, my recommendation is to spray your palms when temperatures uh, first hit 60 degrees after a cold event. 
and that's because at 60 and, and higher, especially fungus can really start to get out of control fast. And this fungus may be growing down in your spear and you won't even see it until uh, a couple weeks or a month later to your spear pools. So what we're gonna talk about here is the treatments for it. If you know that you have spear pool and your, your spear is already pulled on your palm or you see rot, you can use uh, the straight 3% uh, hydrogen peroxide like you find uh, just in any grocery store, in any Walgreens, uh, uh, Walmart, CVS. Uh, this, this stuff is just like a dollar or two a bottle. And uh, all you're gonna do is take this and pour it undiluted uh, right into that spear area that we just uh, uh, showed on the video. And uh, uh, sometimes you'll hear it fizz a little bit. And that means that it's, it's uh, uh, making contact with some of that material that's, that needs to be treated. And uh, this is kind of like a instant uh, kill to the fungus and that sort of thing. And uh, uh, you can use that every uh, few days to every week on a, a rotted palm. You want to use it on days like today that we have here where it's um, a dry day. It's going to be dry for a couple days. Uh, temperature is warm. You don't want to use this on days where it's going to be freezing at night, uh, uh, where it's going to be uh, wet right afterwards uh, and that sort of thing. Um, the other treatment we have here is copper fungicide. And this I use as a preventative and as a treatment. And so for me here in Tennessee, what I'll do is I'll uh, mix this up in the spring after we've had some cold and icy weather. And I'll uh, take it and uh, uh, go ahead and spray it on all the palms. It's really gentle. Uh, copper fungicide is made to go, if you can see there on, uh, it says ornamentals, vegetables, fruits, citrus, uh, turf grass. Uh, it doesn't usually uh, say on the label that it's for palms, but what you're going to want to do is mix up uh, the medium to, to stronger uh, dilution that it'll say on the label. And you're going to spray that on the palms, and we'll show you how to do that here in just a minute. Uh, I just use a little one of these little measuring cups to measure it. In this case, this particular one uh, takes 10 to 20 milliliters per gallon. And you can mump, pump, use this in like uh, your garden sprayer or today, just so I can do a video, I'm gonna show you in a little hand sprayer. And uh, the fungicide, you're gonna wanna use the same thing when temperatures are uh, 60 or more and you've got these dry days and especially like today we're doing it in the morning and it's windy and so this stuff can dry out on your plant you don't want to ever uh, get your plants wet at night because that's when uh, this fungus will, will tend to try to grow on them uh, so you don't want to exasperate the problem so we're going to take our mixed copper fungicide I'll show you how to do it on one of the palms. You're just going to want to spray spear area, trunk, and if you have any type of Prime problems you want to spray them. A lot of times I spray the entire trunk area up through here. If you have any exposed roots, if you think it's been cold and frozen around the roots, you can even spray around the root zone. And it's not going to hurt to spray the entire trunk if it's a small one. If it's a larger uh, palm, I'll just spray the top a uh, couple feet 
of the trunk. I'm gonna spray this all around the trunk. And especially down in the steer area, like we talked about. And that's how you spray your copper fungicide on your farm.